morning everyone so I'm here quick to do a uh, another installment of relaxing bossing where today we're gonna be doing some Zolra uh, I've been farming here for uniques uh, as you can see here uh, since last time I came on got some strength some magic and some HP levels uh, and in fact I got myself 99 hit points so it's my first skill kit on this account Zolvara is, I don't want to say she's a pretty easy boss, but um, once you uh, get her rotations down and whatnot, she is super simple. Um, I don't really die on her. It would be pretty hard at this point. I would essentially have to get KO during a mage phase. Um, about three hits off here with ranged. You could also see here that a lot of people, um, a lot of people run her with just mage only, and I feel like, obviously you do you, whatever, you know, you enjoy, but, um, pure mage seems like a waste of time. You know, you get a couple cycles that, um, know you kind of sit and stare at her for a while it would be nice if you just had a single weapon to switch to so I bring a pretty simple uh, range swap here and it works out pretty nicely for me um, you know you can see I did a total of 70 plus range damage already on this fight and I'm not even using uh, you know, any sort of super optimal gear setup or anything. I'm not even switching to Dormant, because I'm too lazy, honestly. So this rotation is pretty easy. Um, it could be a little bit of a pain in the ass if you don't have the mage swap, because you do have a couple, um, you have three total here. So that's a good example of taking some damage during her mage phase, as she can range during her mage phase, but not, uh, not vice versa. I don't know what I'm doing here. Totally forgot to, uh, swap over. Wow, okay, we're gonna get hit by that. Chad phase is honestly, um, you know, it could be seen as, uh, you know, the most difficult part of the fight, but once you kind of learn it, it's actually, uh, it's actually the easiest part of the fight. I'm probably gonna get it here, though. <laughs> no, I'm good. And then this is the repeat, and we're all good. So that was Zolver kill number one. See if we get anything sweet here. Nope. Well, palm tree seed, honestly, not bad. So here, just to uh, reset up, what I usually do is I'll sip uh, defense and a range pop. See, we're actually running out of food to use here, and we're just gonna head straight back. Well, <laughs> it's a waste of a teleport because we don't have any anti venom or anti poison. I actually normally just use uh, anti-poison, but we got a couple anti-venoms, so I just want to finish using these off here. Or at least some of them. I mean, it's, you know, it's not a big deal. So yeah, I mean, I, I enjoy Zolra. Um, she is a bit of a Dragon Bolt sink if you're doing this. I may come back here with a Crystal Bow next time, but Crystal Bow is probably going to be a little underwhelming without uh, Crystal Armor. But we could deal with that, you know. Okay, so we have uh, part one of the most popular rotation here. Uh, same same setup as last time. We're gonna get the three range to 
minutes here. I also don't have my sound on because the Armadale crossbow just makes a horrible fucking noise when you shoot at, like, intolerably bad. Okay, so in fact we got the same exact rotation as last time. Let's hopefully not mess up the, uh, <laughs> the Jad phase as, uh, I always get tripped up running back there. See, that was a lot of damage on that phase. Um, this is also a safe spot. Um, most people, I, I hope you know about this, I actually totally forgot about this when I started doing Zolmer again, uh, which was kind of funny. I was trying to dodge in positions where I didn't need to. ago on my other account <laughs> it was it was hard following the rotation and um wow you gotta be kidding me and really just staying on top of her for the jet phase but i don't 
know, just with all the prayer flicking and other, I guess, practicing I did on this account, it really wasn't um, difficult. That was the easiest part to learn about her. In fact, like I said, that was where I felt like I did uh, the majority of my uh, damage. As I'm not sure how her defense works during her chat phase, but I have to assume it kind of goes to zero because, um, you know, I'm quite accurate when she's, uh, when she's switching. Also doing two anti-venom sip. Is, is not too bad, honestly. Um, I still, you know, am going to switch back to anti-poison once I have to go back and make more food. Getting uh, pretty unlucky with hits here, but that was a nice one. Okay, this rotation again. This will definitely be a, uh, a slightly longer kill here. Although that was pretty good. Once again, we have the uh, nice high damage rotation. I can do quite a bit during this. only this is also definitely a pretty nice rotation to grab I also don't um, really need to use a uh, prayer potion during this which is really nice this is uh, you know a prayer potion less uh, solver speed which is pretty awesome a little, little dumb of me. Once again, we're gonna have to run here. Nope. 
So in this rotation, we're gonna get that really long mage phase. We're gonna try to do as much damage as we can. Gotta make sure your full health going into mage phases as well. As she could do something like that, throw a double, uh, double ranged attack at you. They could, you know, hit your 40s. You don't want that, guys. But yeah, as you can see, this range phase is just so long. like even if you do that mage phase with just a single like you don't even need range care just land a couple hits honestly you probably uh you probably would be benefiting you know if you're doing or if you're attempting to do a mage only run As you can see, we, we did less damage this time than uh, the last time, as we're going to take the chat phase with much more health. We are doing some nice damage in the meantime, though. And there we are. This could be a, a serpentine visage. <laughs> so, I think what I'm... Oh my god. My Dryden is out of charges. Run over here for the reset. But yeah, I think what I'm going for first, uh, most likely uh, Magic Fang. I actually gotta be careful, I can't really damage her during this phase. And this is quite a long phase, too. <laughs> it's great. I believe I can land hits. They're just extremely inaccurate. Yeah, so that, that is true. So we'll get a mage phase here. Hopefully we could finish her quickly get two big hits, or, or zero. Alright, well, here she goes now. Okay, well, <laughs> I totally forgot my trident was out. I don't know what I'm doing. We'll get her here on this melee phase, though. Watch out, dude. The venom is a uh, pretty, pretty bad. God, what is she made of here? <laughs> this is a pretty. This is a bad kill. This is definitely gonna be my longest kill.
we might actually be able to get away with no anti-venom this run, though. It's a little risky. We're just gonna go for it, though, I guess. We just need some really, uh, some really big hits here. We're already at the Jad phase, so hopefully we can get the damage we need. enjoyed and uh, hopefully I get something soon.